Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. In the darkest of times, there is light. I truly believe that. I truly believe that, with all my heart, that in the darkest of times, there is light. Now, for me to say that, it would take it would take somebody having to go through a lot, wouldn't it? And I have. In the last year, my life has been turned upside down. My subscribers and all my viewers know that. I lost somebody very, very dear to me. My whole life has been turned upside down. But you know what? I think, I think that losing my losing my nan and the most incredible, precious, wonderful, beautiful, amazing person that she is, and the imprint she is had on my whole life and left me with, it's kind of taught me to always try to find, try to find something to concentrate on, something to, something to, to sort of capture your, your sort of spirits on, your, your sense of having to move forward. And that's where this comes from, that in the darkest of times there is light. Now my nan taught me that we must carry on. We must work hard. We must value the things closest and what means the most to us. And whatever happens, we will always be okay. I'll always be okay, as my nan used to say. And you have to keep going. And she did. And you know what? From that teaching of my nan, which she inspires me every single day, and I feel that she is with me. My faith truly gets me through. But I do, with all my heart, try to live by that, that in the darkest of times there is light. My nan had Alzheimer's disease, which I, I stood by her throughout her whole journey, throughout my whole life since I was a baby. Since my nan held me to holding my hand right up until the age of 27, and I lost my nan in May, and in July I turned 28. And I held her hand whilst my grandfather in heaven took hers. But I said to my nan that this isn't the end, we just won't be able to hold hands for a while. And in the darkest of times, there is light. My nan thought Alzheimer's disease absolutely incredible. She was a fighter. She had, she was as strong as an ox, a most beautiful, beautiful soul, character and person, a film star. My nan would walk into a room and it was like you were transported to a, a, film, a film set, a film star. My nan shone in a room. In a dark room, she shone light. And you know what, my nan inspires me, and as I say every day, and it's taught me to think about the things that there are light in the darkest of times, that actually my nan was, in the last, the last months of her life, my nan was suffering. She was no longer, even though on the outside she looked nan, on the inside she was suffering. So I try to tell myself, as much as it hurts every single day, that in the darkest of times of losing my nan and what my nan was going through, and I lost my nan horrifically, that actually she is out of that horrific suffering, and she's with my grandfather in heaven, and with her daughter and her son, my mum's brother and sister. I see my mum every day. I live in the family home. I see the pain, I see the hurt, and I see her eyes welling up at times because of the absence of my nan, her mum. But I also see that the suffering of my nan is no longer here. And we're left with the wonderful cherished memories and treasured times of her. I have pictures all around. I tell myself in the darkest of times there is light because for nan, that suffering is over. And she's with the Lord above. And I always said growing up that I think the world of you, my love, and although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. That brings me great comfort. Now, you may not have lost somebody. 
You may have been going through something really difficult. Your life may be really troubled. And my heart goes out to you. But I extend this sort of teaching from my nan to you. That actually there is light in the darkest of times. When I lost my treasured Alaskan Mimalt, my puppy dog, my saber, my friend, life was painful for a long, long time, and it still is, that he is no longer here. But do you know what? He had hip dysplasia since he was a puppy, and he was just shy of 12 years old. And his last two weeks, we tried to hold on to him as long as we could, and it was horrific for him. And thinking back, he was miserable. He couldn't do anything of what a dog can do, or should be able to do. No longer could he run around. No longer did he have his bubbly, his easy, his his treasured traits were some somehow slipping away from him. He had to use two hoists, two fabric hoists, to lift him, and bathroom problems soon followed. No animal should have to go through that. And we lost him. It's coming up to two years and it still feels incredibly raw. It'll always be a part of our family and there is a heavy absence in our family. So whether you've lost a loved one, whether you've lost your mum, your dad, your nan, your grandfather, a sibling, a friend, as much as it hurts right now, there is light in the darkest of times, perhaps not for us, but perhaps for them, certainly for them. It doesn't mean to say that they're forgotten, it certainly doesn't mean that. They will always be with you. I lost my aunt, I lost my uncle, my mum's brother, my mum's sister, both blessed Blessed, blessed people and amazing, beautiful people. Both had horrific battles with cancer. And yeah, it was, it was difficult to watch and difficult to see. And when I think back on it, the light for them in the darkest of times was that they didn't have to go through what they were going through anymore, even though they were of a young age. That notion doesn't always fit with everybody. I lost my nan at 95. She was just shy of 95, so my heart. She's at peace in her 95th year. 95, but gone far too soon. Strange, isn't it? Lost my puppy dog at nearly 12. Far too soon. When you think about it, you're left with treasured, incredible memories. The light in the darkest of times, there is certainly, for them, not quite so for us, but there will be, there will be. One day, I hope not to remember the suffering of my nan so much and to remember all the wonderful happy things. I'm broken every day. My puppy dog Saber, I miss him. I really do. With my aunt, who is a spitting image, almost a twin of my mum, I miss her. My uncle, I miss. The light in the darkest of times, it teaches us strength. It teaches us that we're stronger than what we think. It teaches us that Yes, suffering is out there and it's around us all. And we're pushed to the brink of being able to deal with the things which happen to our loved ones around us. It's heartbreaking. It's horrific. And life rips your heart out and crushes it right in front of you and throws it back. And time is cruel and it pushes you to take that next step. It pushes you to live the next day, the next week, the next month. And then you start to see that there is light in, in the darkness. And in the darkest of times, yes, there is a flicker of light that throughout that sadness and that grief and that pain and that ill health and that horrific loss of life they went through. 
that actually no longer are they suffering, no longer is that pain there. You start to remember the treasured person they were in their happy days, in their healthy days, with smiles, done up to the nines, the glamour, the wonderful times, the holidays, the Christmases, the Easter. There is light in the darkest of times, my friend. I sit here through having gone through a lot. If it's not bereavement you're going through, and it's financial loss, or it's a breakup, you may have broke up with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife. You may have lost everything. You may be at the at the hellhole, in a bottomless pit right now, where you feel you've lost everything. You haven't. There are people who care. There are people who are ready to take your hand. Sometimes it's just a fact of actually taking a moment for yourself and breathing and thinking that actually, get through the next moment, get through the next hour, the next day, and the rest will follow. And in your darkest of times, in the time that follows, you'll see that there was light, and that those moments taught you strength. They taught you to be able to sit back, to be able to reflect, to be able to grow, to be able to turn life around. You may have a family member, a friend, or someone special to you, who's gone through, gone through something difficult, such as addiction, loss. They may be coming to terms with something about themselves, they may have lost somebody in horrific accidents, or it could be that you have a child who's being bullied, or it could be that you've gone through something which you don't want to share with anybody because you feel so down and so hurt. You feel like that you've let yourself down. You haven't. You haven't. And there won't be light in those darkest of times, not right now, but you will see that in the end, you'll find that light because that's what we have to do. In difficult times, in troubled times, when we're on the floor and you feel that you just can't get up anymore. Don't bother looking for the right, the light right now. Don't bother. There won't be any. Get through it first and then when you look back, you'll see the light. You'll see the glory. You'll see that you got through it. You can get through it. And you'll see that you're stronger than you think. You have so much to offer. But when you do see and you agree with me and you think no longer am I talking rubbish, because believe you me, there was a time where I think to myself, what on earth are you going on about, Bradley? You'll see one day that there is light in the darkest of times and it grows us, it develops us. It makes us actually cherish life even more and cherish those around you. So today, on this Saturday, if you've had a bit of a down day like I have, and you think, or perhaps you're going through something where everything around you once was strong and stable, and now it's all falling around you. We've, sometimes many of us have been there. I've been there. You may have lost someone closest and dearest to you. Don't bother trying to relate to this right now, but one day you'll find the light and you'll realise that actually there is goodness. That light can be found in many situations. Very different, of course, when tragedy strikes. Doesn't apply whatsoever. I mean that in the darkest of times, when that horrific event has passed, the light then, of course, in tragedy, is the wonderful blessed moments and memories and all those wonderful cherished things you're left with. That's a small glimmer of light and the love and the affection and the support of your family around you. This isn't me trying to say that there's any light in that at all. This is simply me trying to find something to hold on to when life throws all of what can sadly be evil at us. And it's up to us to act in a way which defines us in which we can get up and go again after. Because that's the cruelest thing, isn't it? Time. So I'm left feeling like this. And that's why I'm saying to you that actually there is light to be found in the darkest of times. Not always, of course not always, but in some situations the light can be the wonderful memories, 
you're you're left with afterwards. Because sadly, that's all we have to hold on to. That could be many of things. The light in this situation for me is that my nana didn't have to go through that suffering anymore. With my puppy dog, the light there is that he has gone back to being him in heaven. He's no longer in pain or suffering. The light with my arm to my uncle, who went through so much suffering with their illness, they've gone back to being well and back to themselves. And as I like to think, we'll all be together again one day. The light in some situations of suffering and those tragic events is that actually, yes, life pauses for those poor people going through that right now on our YouTube community and you see the horrific things which are forecast and we can see, broadcasted, sorry, in which we can see and we learn from the news as to speak. And then you think, how on earth can there be light? There isn't. That's not me saying there is. There isn't. Not at all. Those people should be with their loved ones and family. But in months and the years that will pass, the light then and only then will be the wonderful memories that then put a smile on your face of that person and that treasured soul. That's why I say don't try to even find the light if it's just happened to you, because there won't be any. The weeks when I lost my nan, I barely even wanted to breathe let alone carry on, so if somebody was to tell me to find the light then, I'd have a short response for them, I really would. When I lost my puppy dog, there was no light then at all. And that's why I'm saying there is light in the darkest of times. Just wait, just wait and give yourself time. Give yourself time to breathe and let yourself time to process all of those things. If you're not talking about bereavement and you're at the bottom of a bottomless pit feeling like situation where perhaps money worries or addiction or horrific things have happened to you. The light can be the teachings that life has to offer. It can be that we get the opportunity to go again. We get the opportunity to pick ourselves back up. Bearing in mind if it's something awful and tragic happened to you, very, very different, very different. Then the light for you is the love and support of your loved ones around you. And even then, it might not be light. It might just be that hand reaching out to catch you from falling at your darkest hour. Food for thought, I hope. And one I hope is almost like a branch to me holding out of that. You can learn something from my own experiences, which have been horrific in the last year especially, and that actually through our own horrible happenings and our own awful experiences, why am I doing this? If I can pass on something I've learned to help another person, then I will. And that's what I'd love to do. Let's not end this on a sorrow note or an unhappy one. There's unhappiness all around us in this world. It's our job to find the happy times. And from my loved, precious Nan, she wouldn't want me to sit here feeling sad and down and blue, even though in my heart I feel broken. She'd want me to smile. She'd want me to say to you that life is good and that there's so many wonderful things out there to run and grasp. That's what she taught me. To work hard, to continue, to carry on. Always look your best. That's what now I'd say. Always try hard. Family is everything. And keep going. She did. I will. You can. There's light in the darkest of times. Honestly. If you can't see that yet, you will. I promise you. Take great care. If you'd like to leave me any questions or anything down below, comments, whatever, whatever you think, leave it down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Take great care, God bless, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.